I've been wanting to try a pomelo from Vietnam. They're grown here. It's the uh, largest citrus in the world, and it's in the grapefruit family. We picked up a knife for a dollar from a corner store. And uh, we're going to give this a try. Oh, it smells really good. Oh, it almost has a lemony smell. But it's also a unique smell. Excuse my funky hairstyle, I just got out of the shower, but uh, Charlie and I are going to try the pomelo for the first time. I think you can get them in the States, but I'm not sure, but this is uh, the world's largest citrus fruit, and it is commonly grown here in Southeast Asia, and they're everywhere in the street markets, and they're similar to a grapefruit. They're in the same family, and they smell sweet. Uh, we'll see if they taste sweet. And they also hang in trees. Yeah, they hang out in trees. And in hotels, apparently. Yeah. <laughs> it's very firm, so hopefully this is a good ripe one. I don't know if it's supposed to be this firm or not. It's difficult to... Uh... Looks like there's a lot of seeds in that. Yeah, there does seem to be a lot of seeds. I'm not open. Should we get the knife? Uh, I... Okay. Oh, it's juicy. Mm -hmm. There is a... I'm getting stuff all over me. Mm. There is a ton of seeds. So I'm going to try and take a bite around it. Mm. Okay. Um, sorry, I'm trying to... I need to get a better bite of the flesh and less of the, the white rind. Mm. It's so juicy. It's very lightly sweet. Um, sorry, this is really messy to eat. It's very lightly, almost like a lemony essence, a lemony grapefruit that's lightly sweet. It's good, and there's a lot of fruit here. I like it. Let's see what Charlie thinks. I don't like that on oranges or anything. <laughs> I'm very picky with my citrus. There's a very light flavor. Like, like, yeah, I can taste the hints of grapefruit. It's like a, a non sour grapefruit. That's a good way to put it. It's not sweet, though. It's just like a a very light flavor of grapefruit. It's not bad. I guess stuff in your teeth. <laughs> and it's uh, winter time here in Vietnam, so I don't know if these grow in the winter. Actually, we did see a tree with pomelos in it. Yeah. I wonder what they call them in Vietnamese. We could look that up. Actually, I'll just put it at the bottom of the screen. Because we probably have a hard time pronouncing it anyway. <laughs> All, right, All right. Not bad. Well, that's a pomelo. So, stay tuned. Because tomorrow we were invited to a home of a friend that we made here in Vietnam. And they're going to cook us a traditional Vietnamese meal. 
and uh, hopefully we can capture a little bit of footage from that and share with you guys. If not, we'll tell you all about it. Tries and get me. You couldn't fit another person in here. Yeah, let me put this on widescreen. Hmm. <laughs> hey, that's kind of a cool backdrop for you. Instantly, as you hit the street, even in Hano in this part of Hanoi, which is not in the touristy area, you start smelling food as soon as you you walk out of the hotel area. It smells amazing. This is the first time we've seen the sun since we've been here. <laughs> yeah, it's either been like cloudy or smoggy. Uh, Alright, so we got some snacks on the street. Just eating something light because we're about to go out to uh, dinner with our new friend here in Vietnam. So we're having but a little lunch. We've been wanting to try some of these fried skewer, skewer things that people sell on the side of the streets. Um, he was saying this sauce is very spicy. I have no idea what this is. Do you have a clue? Um, it's fried. Yeah. <laughs> That's all I know. It smells like fried chicken. I bet you it's probably another fermented pork. I'm gonna do just a little dab of the hot sauce. Take them seriously. Yeah. Fermented pork. Looks like chicken. So. It looks like chicken. I don't know what kind of meat it is. It's not uh, fish. I'll let you be the judge of that. Okay. And I think you can handle more, a little more hot sauce than that. <laughs> I don't know. It was chewy like a squid. But it doesn't, it's not fishy. Mm -mm. It's either pork or chicken, but like mixed with something, like it's minced or something. These look fun. Do you my think guess, it might be a scallop? My guess is it's crab balls. But it could be cheese. I'm gonna go with the hot sauce because I like it. Hello. Hello, how are you? <laughs> um. Oh. Ooh. What is it? Oh. Mm. Nice. Mm. Uh -oh. Ooh. Okay. I don't know what it 
is, but it's good. All right. Um, I'll just give you your own. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Careful, that one's super greasy. How do these people stay so skinny? <laughs> what is that? <laughs> I don't know. But it's delicious. It's almost like egg wrapped uh, lemon, lemongrass. Oh, maybe that is what it is. The lemongrass flavor is a little almost overpowering to figure out if that's just egg or if it's uh, egg and crab, like crab cake type thing. Uh, one cannot have too much lemongrass. Well, I'm just saying you can't taste the flavor of the other things because the lemongrass is yeah. it's overpowering. But it's good. Mm. <laughs> really greasy. <laughs> yeah. Oh, jeez. This is the bag that it came in. Look how just greasy that is. So what do you, you have that selection sitting in front of him, and you pick one out, or two out, or however many one out, and he throws it in the vat of oil, cooks mm -hmm. it for not very long, and then um, hands it to you to, to eat. Mm. So it's cooked fresh right in front of you. Well, that was pretty good. That was very good, but very fried and greasy, and it didn't really taste healthy, but um, it is a taste of Vietnam. Yeah. So you book a grab, and it shows you where the driver is. It shows you a bunch of cars around, and then it shows you where your driver that accepted your grab is and how long it'll take him to get here, which he's on his way. He'll be there in about six minutes. But look at this traffic he's got to drive in. I kind of feel bad booking a ride at 5 o'clock in the heat of traffic, but it's what we do. Okay, now he's on the street. Okay.
đầu khê hồi chuẩn bị bản báo tin là đến 15 phút rồi không nhúc nhích được tí nào các bác tài chúng ta chú ý bạn chung báo tin là ngã tư đèn đỏ nam cường hải dương hướng về hải phòng giao thông rất đông di chuyển khó khăn trying to keep out of his mirrors <laughs> It's gas station. It's all lined up. <laughs> gas is the same price there. It's amazing that uh, like all the cars aren't just scratched up. I was just thinking that like uh, nobody's
bike's got a bike on the back. So, you can tip on the app as long as you're a shark card, and then you can rate them for certain things. Rate them with five stars and submit. Awesome. And then he gets paid. All right. We just had the most excellent dinner here in Vietnam. We had some authentic uh, Vietnamese food, but so some of you guys might remember from a previous episode where we made friends with the person that uh, uh, cleans the rooms in the first hotel that we stayed at here in Vietnam. And uh, her name is Mai, and she invited us to her home where she lives with her sister and her mother. And we were just blown away by the spread that they put out there. I mean, I got some quick footage of it. I didn't want to be rude doing a bunch of filming, but um, I had to capture some of it to show you guys <laughs> because I've never been fed like this. Like this like perfectly roasted or baked fish. Um, it was tilapia. Um, and then these like fresh rolls that... Uh, they put the tilapia in and it was dipped in the sauce. It was spicy and delicious. Oh, man, so much flavor in that sauce. And then uh, what else? Um, the fried spring rolls, which were amazing. Yeah, uh, best and then I've ever had. A chicken dish. And then she brought out some beef. We also had some sticky rice that had some sort of filling in it. Um, and we had these little like wafer things that were made out of beef. I yeah. Assume. Um, and they were good. Uh, yeah, they were like they were this like little, a cracker. Yeah, and you soak them in the broth and it just soaks the broth right up. <laughs> You're so full. It is Vietnamese tradition to uh, <laughs> feed your guests until they pop. And it's American tradition. Uh, it's American tradition to eat what's served to you, usually, yes. at least where we grew up. <laughs> and um, those two traditions don't mix. <laughs> no, we are so full. Uh, and then afterwards, um, she brought out these beautiful trays of fruit. Mm -hmm. uh, fruit is a common dessert in Vietnam, which I love that concept. It's so much healthier than cakes and things like that but um oh, that was so good they had like uh guava and apples, mellow grapes oranges mandarins 
It was beautiful. Yeah. Everything about this evening was beautiful. Mm -hmm. um, really amazing, kind, sweet people. Um, it, it, we communicated mainly through Google Translate because uh, Mai's English is is good. It should mm -hmm. like it's good enough for us to understand, but the rest of her family couldn't could not understand English. So mm -hmm. we uh, ended up using Google Translate most of the night. Yeah, and it was very helpful. Mm -hmm. uh, it was so cool to have a little window into their world. Um, still not the same if we could just speak fluent Vietnamese, but we learned some things about the language too as <laughs> that kind of helps us make sense of why nobody can understand us when we're trying to talk to them sometimes. Yeah, but, like uh, the word for grandma, ba, and the word for the number three, ba. No, wait, I'm sorry, three is ba. And grandma is ba. You got that, guys? Yeah. Pretty sure I'm saying those at least somewhat close. Yeah, you're to, close. To correctly. But literally, they are spelled the same. There is just an accent over the A in grandma. Mm -hmm. But they sound almost exactly like. Put them into Google Translate and have Google Translate play it for you side by side. You, you're yeah. you're going to be like, that is so subtle. Yeah. And, and the difference is, if you're wondering and you don't want to go through that, looking it up on Google Translate, is three is ba. It's longer. The ah is a little bit longer, just slightly. Mm -hmm. um, and ba is a little more terse and abrupt. Which is grandma. Yeah. A little more terse and abrupt. <laughs> yeah. Um... <laughs> Oh my gosh, and her mom, she's 83 years old, and she is just the cutest little thing. Um, that was so cool. And to see see how normal people live in Vietnam, like, very cool insight into their little world. And uh, we've made a friend for life. Um, when Mai is going to come to America next year, and... Um, we hope that we can see her when she does and that we can give her the same hospitality. I mean, she sent us home with this, like, 10-pound bag of food. Like, I don't even know what's in here. Like, kind of do, but she was just shoving things in there. Like... She wasn't just shoving. Like, she... she yeah, shoving is not the right word. But <laughs> she delicately, like, packaged up beautifully this... It's um, called Che. It's a sweet soup. Yeah. And, and she said it's apple. not too... Not too sweet? Mm-hmm. Ooh, it smells good. Oh, yeah. So it's like a, like a, um, a tea, like, soup kind of thing. I'm um, really looking forward to that. I'm so full right now. But you eat it with a spoon. And then... Bananas, like oranges... A, and a couple other things that we don't know what they are. She is so sweet about the bananas. So she saw that we had bananas in our room. And ever since, she's been giving us bananas. Which, <laughs> I love bananas. Um, but it's so sweet that she noticed. But, like, these treats, I have no idea what they are. What do they say? They say... 100%... Zhao 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 Zones Not Japonica hmm, Sounds good to me I'll try it Yeah Bango no So far everything we've eaten in Vietnam Has been amazing except for this one time We went and we got pho bo Which is beef pho And it wasn't very good But I think it was the place we went to uh, What's yeah. this? Yeah, we didn't film that pho, and we should have, because it was the only disappointment in food we've had. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. They look fun. Yeah, these look really fun. Like a jelly candy or something. We She's don't even so know. So sweet. <laughs> I mean, and then mandarins, which I already forgot the word for them. I remember the word for pomelo. It's boy. 
boy, boy. Yeah, all this stuff. And she's just so generous and so kind. I can't wait to spoil her when she comes to America. <laughs> all right, well, I wish you guys could have been flies on the wall on that one. But hopefully we described it well enough. Um, but yeah, so far Vietnam has been amazing. It has. And very welcoming. Yeah. So. Thanks for watching. Yeah, that was fun. That was fun. That was really fun. <laughs> Um, if you like this sort of content, uh, if you like you're going along with us on these adventures, please subscribe, please. And then, uh, like this video and yeah. check us out on Patreon. Yeah. Check us out on Patreon. Bye now. Bye now.